to BS Life. Today I want to talk about um, this tissue add-on once again. Um, I'm, I keep revisiting this add-on because it's keep updated and recently there's a mention of Python Numba. Numba is like a module that you can install yourself for Blender. It's basically to speed up the algorithm. So if you are using something like reaction diffusion um, in tissue, this is gonna be a lot faster. So we're gonna try that really quick. I'm I will be using the this tissue master version, but there is also Blender 2.8 dev here that you can try. This is probably the latest, but let's try it anyway. Let's open up Blender. Okay, uh, you can see here uh, inside my Blender. This is my Blender 2.8. If I show the package content, inside here I already have uh, Numba installed. Um, you, you might want to install that using pip, but before you install pip, you need to use Blender Python. Uh, you need to install pip using this Python. Okay, so yeah, let's get started. Python Numba already installed. I believe it's actually mentioned <coughs> somewhere here. Probably not. So delete everything and I will be using Icosphere. This is just like the demo by Alessandro Zomparelli. I will subdivide this five times. Control 5. So now we have viewport subdivisions of 5. If I look at it with wireframe, it looks pretty dense. And then hit apply. File, save as tissue with Numba. And with the tissue add-on, once you install it properly, um, if we look at under add-on tissue, so I have a couple of different versions. I'm using version 3.25. This one seems to be like the latest. But I don't know which one is better, uh, but let's try. So by default, if you are in object mode, this is what you get. Tessellate, dual mesh. But if you want to go to weight paint, and by default, we can paint, or we can do like a harmonic. Um, and it's gonna generate for us something like this, like the group and harmonic. But we want to, uh, I want to show you the reaction diffusions now. If we turn it on, we're gonna have A and B right away, and then also these options to change the parameter for the reaction diffusions. However, by default, the, uh, the coefficients and the parameter is already pretty good. So we can just uh, just get started with this. Just draw like a random pattern. And then let's see. Just random. There's no meaning. And then you hit playback. And the Numba calculation will help this to perform a lot faster. Especially for super dense mesh. So the higher the mesh, um, you will see the performance increase. I believe that's what happening because it's a. Uh, it seems pretty fast, and you can keep it running and until it settles. So it's like like usual with reaction diffusions. Think of it like you have two kind of chemical materials, and they're gonna try to blend or kind of reach a state where they both kind of happy and then sharing space. So that's uh, basically what is going on here. I might be wrong, but it's just my own words try to, to try to explain this. And after you're done with this, you can, you can choose either contour curves or contour displays or contour mask. Curve will create curves based on 
this reaction diffusion pattern this place will displace it the mask will mask it using modifier um, but I think there's a probably a little bit of bug in this uh, current version because it's still beta um, but once you're done I'll show you what's going to happen but we can use this anyway so if we stop this Yeah, 200, around 250 calculations. Now we can see the, the pattern, which is stored in, uh, there's A and B, yeah. We, we want to probably use B. Um, let's see. Yeah, we just go back to object mode. We still have this guy. If I duplicate it, see the duplicate also have the vertex group, so we can safely keep this one on the left here we can try using displacement and then also pick the vertex group so that's B and that's A whichever you like uh, with mid level you can actually zero it out but it's totally up to you strength so now you can either push it push or pull whichever you like and then maybe I smooth it F3 and smooth so I, I, I'm, I use a lot of that command F3 used to be spacebar so now we have this which is nice um, uh, remember it's actually stored inside the vertex pane oh actually it's not a vertex pane this is like vertex group if we want to transfer it to vertex color how do we do that Good question. Okay, let's. Uh, I believe we actually have it. Um, contour mask or displace. I. There's actually a way to convert it. Oh, there you go. Convert to colors. That's easy. Easy busy. It's so gonna convert the vertex weight into vertex color. Cool. By doing that, you can go to cycles or EV, modify the shader and use the vertex color to render. Um, one more thing is the there's actually this harmonic. Create a harmonic variations of the active vertex group. That's kind of giving you an interesting pattern. So harmonic, the original harmonic, see, like kind of like a rainbowish. Try to convert it to color as well. Harmonic value, yeah. See, looking pretty cool. We might want to smooth it, etc. Let's go back to object mode. Let's switch to shader editor. We don't have any material yet, so in material properties here, assign a material into this guy and use the attribute nodes we're gonna pass in the either b value or harmonic value which one try both copy the name paste it there you go plug this into that There you go. And also this guy. But you're not limited to that because at any point point in time you can always use color ramp, I believe. And start playing with the the way the color being distributed. Probably better if it, if it's smoothed. But you can give it a try yourself, like try to find the color you want. There, that's the harmonic. Try this. This is probably just black and white.
there should be some kind of gradient happening there it's not too bad not too bad actually a single gradient ramp affecting the color of our our thingy so let's kind of twist it twist the color a little bit there you go very fancy um this guy doesn't have the vertex color yet but it's okay we can duplicate this and have a different color i believe yeah um, if we have a different material or um, for these objects we can we can do that we can actually mix and match these two as well to get a different result so perhaps uh, actually instead of doing that um, we're gonna try we're gonna try to do once uh, to do the tissue reaction diffusion again one more time um, so let's reset the whole thing the step is 10 by default let's try uh, 0 0.8 just uh, start painting and we're gonna process it in a minute in a bit So, actually, we should start from zero. It's gonna jump. Okay, it's actually continuing from the last frames. And while it's doing this, you can continue painting. Actually, this time we're gonna have a slightly different pattern. We can stop it right there and just convert it to color I think okay that's fine go back to object mode and with this guy we also we, you can we can use masking as well so masking should generally works okay there, there you go Oh yeah, masking actually can be pretty cool. You, you just smooth it and then you, you add solidify. This is but this is like another way you want to approach this kind of design. Um, but if you are using the same material, let's call it RD reaction diffusion material. And yeah, that's the result you'll you, you'll be getting. So depending on the vertex color slot that it has, this one have the B value, this one has B value and harmonic value. So this one can work with this guy, but this one only have only have B value. Okay, so yeah, this is a, I think just a, another quick look at the reaction diffusions that you can create using tissue add-on from Alessandro Zomparelli I think this is like really cool way you can kind of create a geometry that you can print out or turn it into AR I really like this add-on one of my favorite um, yeah so I'm gonna turn this into AR at some point but there you go hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye